Hi there, the following video will change the subject of formulae in slightly more complicated cases. Let's have a look at example 1. Here we've got 3a equals 8b subtract a. We want to make a the subject of this formula. The complication here of course is that there is three lots of a here and a negative a here and we want a on its own on one side of the equal sign. So, what could we do to this equation? Well, with a little thought, you might say to yourself, well, imagine I added a to both sides. On the left-hand side, I would get 4a, and on the right-hand side, I would be left with 8b, because negative a plus a gives me 0. I don't want 4a's, I want a as the subject, so I could divide both sides by 4, and I would get a is equal to to 8b divided by 4. 8b divided by 4 is simply 2b. So a is equal to 2b and a is the subject of this formula. Example 2. 3h plus 7j all divided by 4 equals h plus 4. I want to make h the subject of the formula. There's a h here and 3h is here plus 7j all over 4. Problem is, there's a H on both sides. So, let's look at this. What could we do to both sides to make this a bit simpler? Well, on the left-hand side, we've got 3H plus 7J, that expression all divided by 4. The divided by 4, this fraction makes things complicated. A nice way to start would be to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. This would leave me simply with the numerator 3H plus 7J on the left hand side and I would get 4 multiplied by everything that was on the right hand side that is 4 times h plus 4 well now that I've got a bracket let's multiply out the bracket that would be equal to 4h plus 16 so 3h plus 7j is equal to 4h plus 16 now I've got 3 h's on the left hand side and 4 h's on the right hand side I want h on its own. Why don't we subtract 3h from both sides and see what we get? Well, that would leave me on the left hand side with 7j, and on the right hand side, well, 4h subtract 3h is simply 1h or h, and you've still got your plus 16. We're nearly there. h plus 16 is equal to 7j. I want h on its own, so I subtract 16 from both sides and I get h is equal to 7j subtract 16. h is on its own on one side of the equal sign and so is the subject of this formula. Now on the next slide I would like you to do the following questions for homework. I would like you to do questions 5 and question 6 here for homework with full work solutions as I showed you on the previous example. Here make a the subject of the formula and here in question six, make x the subject of the formula. Thank you.